Hello people, I'm back and today I'm going to go over how to install my skate macros as a few people in my discord have been struggling. So first of all, you want to go to auto hotkeys, download the program and then you want to go over to notepad++, download this, you don't have to but it makes editing the macros so much easier. So once you've downloaded and installed them, the links in will be in the description where to download those from. You want to go over to your desktop, right click, go to new, find where it says auto hotkey macros and then basically create like a new file like you would with anything else and call it whatever you want. And then once you've decided what the name of that program is going to be, you can then essentially right click it and it will open up a like a notepad description. Um, here you'll see like a macro that I was working on, but what we would do is we'll go over to my Discord and in one of the descriptions here you'll see that there's a skate macro here for you. You could then download this file, save it onto your computer. Once saved, you should be able to open it up like any normal text document. You then want to copy this over and then basically minimize everything you've got and then go over to Notepad++ and paste everything up here. And then in this script, you've got these different variables that represent what your key bindings are. So I've tried to name what they are on the right side. So you'll see like what your slide key is, what your power weapon key is. But then after that, you want to play around with these values. These what work for me. And I've on the right, I've tried to explain what sort of um, range value that you can play around with. So change the timing one and two and hopefully if it doesn't work for you straight out of the box, you'll be able to find a timing that work for you. And then with the auto hotkey file that you made earlier, just paste it into that and then save it. And then you can see in the taskbar that there's no like auto hotkey running. So now I'm opened it up. You can see that there's a H there that represents the macro or the script is running now. And then if you right click onto that, you'll be able to like reload it, pause it and like stop the script if you don't want it to play. So in the script itself, there's like six macros and then the F keys represent what they are. And then in a minute, you're going to have a look at my mouse. And in my mouse, you can see that I've got like F5 up to F9. And then at the top, you can see that there's obviously like a macro function, but I don't use that because not everyone has this mouse to use. So the way I've programmed it is I've got the top row being all my warlock stuff and the bottom row being all of my hunter stuff. And then basically these two keys here are my ledge skating ones. The next two across will be my flat skating macros. And then the one over to the right there will also be my snap skating macro. For me, this works. And then my other button is just a push to talk button inside the game. So it works for me. So inside the warlock for the snap skate to work, you need to have the incinerator snap. And then ideally you want to run heat rises and Icarus dash and then that should work nicely for you for when you want to use the skate snap. So here I'm going to use the skate snap macro and as you can see it's performing it pretty well. So what it's doing is it's essentially sliding, jumping and using the super key really quickly which is allowing you to do this but you need to make sure that you have no super available when you do it. And if you push it too many times, that's what would happen. So now we have to sit here and wait for the grenade to come back. So now I'm just getting rid of my super so I can then carry on playing with the snap skate. What I've also found is that if you've got heat rises and you use that and then use the macro, you can essentially double jump twice because of Icarus dash. So whenever you're jumping, just look at the Icarus dash cooldown and you can see that Oh, it's not up. I can push it again. Okay, the cooldown's up now, so I need to wait. Three, two, one, and now I can push it again. So yeah, it's essentially it's pretty cool. You don't have to have the sword out, which is a good way of mobility. And I thought I'd share this. So over to Mayhem now. So I've turned all the super stuff on, so I can show you like how everything works. So here you can see that the warlock is doing his uh, flat skating, as it would be called. You just have to make sure you've got a super up and I'll pretty much do everything else for you just by a press of a key. And then I'm going to test the ledge gate. So I'm going to run up to the ledge, push the ledge gate key. And you can see that it will project me a lot further. 
And if I was to use the flat skate, sometimes a flat skate is pretty cool because you've got no ledges and you literally want to zip around like Sonic the Hedgehog. But yeah, this is just me quickly showing you all. It still works. Again, if you're having issues with the macros, I've essentially set the macro up now so you can adjust the timings on the fly inside the macro. So if you find that you're just slamming the sword on the ground or you're just well, it's just not functioning properly, just adjust the timings and hopefully you'll find a set that works for you. Here I'm just messing around with my uh, Hunter one. You can see that I'm running around with a basically like a ledge skate, which is when I run up to the corner here, I'll double jump. And then because the macro will make me sprint straight away, I can then just go straight into my um, my flat skate if, it, if the ground allows for it. And then I'll literally just run up to these corners. If there's a little lip, I can go up and push the edge skate. Off I go, We I'm flying. And now you'll see that once I hit the ground, I'll start sprinting, which allows me to push the flat skate macro. And then you'll see that I'm constantly sprinting. I don't have to hold the key down on the edge again, flying around. It really does make like the Hunter and stuff really quite fun to play with. So I'm hoping that this clears up basically how to use the macro, how to install it, and how to set it all up. Again, if you need help or anything, jump into Discord, link in the description below. And if you found any value in the video, please like and subscribe and maybe catch me on Twitch at some point. So yeah, thank you for your time and I'll let the video play out. And yeah, again, appreciate your time and have a good one, people. Bye-bye.